can see in today's video, we're going to be going over how to determine the direction of the forces on parallel wires that are carrying a current through them. And in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the forces from parallel wires that have the currents are flowing in the same direction. In the next video, we'll do that for opposite directions. And then we'll also, in the next video, which you can link to in the upper right-hand corner of this video, we will go over how to determine the amount of force. But today's video is about the direction of the force from current carrying wires. So here, this situation we have, we have two wires, the wires are parallel, they each have a current in them, I1 and I2, wire 1 and wire 2, and we want to determine, how do, we want to know, figure out how to determine the direction of the force on each of those two wires. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to determine the force on wire 2 from wire 1. Well, wire 2 has a current in it, and wire 2 is also inside the magnetic field, from wire number one, because we know that when we have a current carrying wire, it produces a magnetic field around it that is around it in concentric circles. So for wire number one, we can use our right hand rule where we take our thumb, point it in the direction of the current, grab our fingers into the screen and wrap them around that wire. And you can see that the magnetic field, if you were to look from the top, would be flowing in the counterclockwise direction, which we can draw like that. So this is wire number one, and this is the magnetic field from wire number one. And you can see that wire number two is inside of wire the magnetic field from wire number one, so it's going to feel a force. Okay, now we can see that on the left-hand side of wire number one, the magnetic field is flowing out of the page. On the right-hand side of wire number one, its magnetic field is flowing into the page. Now we can designate that with our point and our x out of the page into the page. That means that we can then replace, because it's a little hard to draw these concentric circles, we can replace those concentric circles with our x's and our points to designate that once again, on this side, the magnetic field is out, and on this side, the magnetic field is into the page, okay? And that is the magnetic field from wire number one, and that means that wire number two is inside the magnetic field from wire number one, and that means that wire number two is going to feel a force because it's carrying a current, and a wire that's carrying a current, and the wire is in a magnetic field, then it will feel a force from that magnetic field, okay? So how do we determine the direction of the force on two from this magnetic field, which happens to be from wire number one? Well, once again, we take our right hand, we're gonna use right hand rule, we point our thumb in the direction of the flow of the current, we're going to point our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which is into the page. And then the palm of our hand is going to point in the direction of the force. And that is to the left. If I go like this, that's to my left. And that means that the force on two from the magnetic field of one is to the left. And we can just draw like that, force to one. Now we can do the exact same or the same thing for determining the force on one from two. That's what this designation means, force on one from two. We can do the same thing. We know that wire two is producing a magnetic field. On the left-hand side, it's out of the page. On the right-hand side, it's into the page. We use our point and our X like that. We can replace those circles, and we can see that wire number one, which has a current flowing through it, is now inside the magnetic field from wire number two. That means that wire number one, which has a current flowing through it, is going to feel a force from the magnetic field from wire number two. And we use our right hand rule the same way we did to determine the force uh, on one from two. So now once again, we're gonna point our thumb in the direction of the current, which is up. We're gonna point our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, except they're not into the page. The magnetic field is coming out of the page, so I kind of have to reach around like this. And you can see now, my palm is pointing to the right, this is to my right, and that means that the force on wire number two from the magnetic field produced by wire, the force on wire number one from the magnetic field that is produced by wire number two is going to be to the right. And now we can re I'll redraw the force we figured out earlier for wire number one, which was to the left, and you can see that those wires have forces that are kind of like a force of attraction between those two wires. The forces are kind of uh, attracts one wire to the other wire. So 
The punchline kind of is if you have currents that are in the same direction, then there'll kind of be a force of attraction between those two wires. If you have currents, which we'll see in the next video, if you have currents that are flowing in the opposite direction, then there's a force of repulsion between those two wires. Okay, so there you go. That's how you determine the direction of the force from current carrying parallel wires. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Please subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, as I like to say, as I like to say, sharing is caring. Share this video with all your friends. Show them how much you care. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.